car number 35, the Maramolda Racer, Moshi Hunters, directly from the world of the Carib Caribbean Delusion and surviving the Curry Curry Hurricane. The Maramolda pilot has made it to Austin. The car features a built-in anti-fire water and gas attacks device and a Moshi catching net. Look. The Danger Derby started last year when uh, Kevin and Chris from Blue Genie asked Ian and I about putting together an art show for the East Austin Studio Tour. And it was coinciding last year at the inaugural F1 race here in Austin. And so we decided, yeah, we could get you know, 40, 50 artists in the show. And, but I thought we needed a hook. <laughs> kind of threw out a bunch of ideas and then decided that we were going to do a Pinewood Derby race. So we built an outrageous track, invited people the first weekend to pick up, um, you know, car kits and had 40 people show up with random cars, all sizes, varieties, shapes, speeds, everything, and uh, torched them, threw anvils at them, saw blades, and it was phenomenal. So we're doing it again this year. Um, they did it last year and I heard about it through East. And then oh. this year, I, or I signed up, and they sent me an email this year saying, we're ready, come and get it. Oh, quick, we can take it to The TARDIS is on fire, guys. The TARDIS is on fire. Where's our fire, Marshall? This is the first year that I got a car going. Burning the midnight oil here, trying to get it pieced together for tomorrow's big show. We've had double the amount of cars this year as we did last year. Last year we had just about 40 cars. This year we're actually at 84. So a lot more people signed up and that kind of keeps the event as much as we can do it with one track. The level of creativity and originality that um, people put into their cars, they are so obviously having fun. Um, the inspiration for the dangers um, was really just stuff that we always thought was fun and something good to do. So fire was naturally one of the first things that popped into our heads and so we decided to make a fire pit with um, propane burning through a pipe so we could jump through fire um, and then it just came through like a bunch of almost cartoonish kind of violence sort of you know, like throwing an anvil at the cars and then having a saw blade go through so those were the dangers that we kind of settled on for time requirements for last year mm -hmm. and um, we've done the same this year except we've in even last year with the torches like the um, the fire pit, we ran the first two races and it was kind of anticlimactic. So we got Dan to take his blowtorch out and actually blowtorch the cars as they were jumping through. So that was definitely a nice addition to that. <laughs> Your cars have to be prepared to navigate all sorts of uh, swinging impediments, fire, there are different surfaces, everything from painted surfaces to metal to polycarbonate. Um, you have to really, uh, you have to watch yourself out there. Oh, shit! Oh, damn! I think the audience participating in the event is fantastic. I mean, they can build cars, um, they vote on their favorite car, so everyone's actually gets excited about that and seeing who is the people's choice. Um, you know, being close to the action, seeing the cars, you know, zip by, like it's, it really is about the audience and the audience just builds on itself and so everyone gets really excited and mm -hmm. that bloodthirstiness really kicks in and, you know, mm -hmm. just wants to see mm -hmm. crazy destruction. So, <laughs> it's fun. Hey, if you were 47, 38, or 79, you're freaking eliminated. You are out. You are done. It's like a carnival, or yeah. it's like a spectacle, or it, you know, there was just something about it that really clicked with Austin.
Sun is in 